Uh, the company earlier this year made quite a dramatic announcement that it has commissioned the largest ship ever built uh, and has since ordered 20 of them, uh, costing, I gather, $190 million apiece. What's the strategy <coughs> behind this dramatic move? Well, the strategy is, uh, is really looking at the situation when you go from Asia to Europe. It's a maturing trade, right. uh, so growth is slowing down. Uh, it's our most important trade, and we have a very large market share there. So it's, of course, key to take cost out. Uh, and these, uh, these vessels are very cost effective. And they're also uh, very much in line with our ambition to bring down uh, our greenhouse gas emission. So these vessels will emit 50% less CO2 than the average tra ship trading between Asia and Europe. So, uh, so it's, it's a step forward in a number of areas. Cost for us, uh, hopefully more profits, right. uh, but, uh, but also really a help for the, for the, uh, for the environmental uh, situation. So that's, I mean, it's an innovative move, uh, and, uh, and they are big vessels, uh, but, uh, but we're sure they'll come in very handy for us. Where will they go? Is it, is it, because I understand, for example, that they're so big, uh, there's no U.S. port that can handle them. Is that correct? I think you could probably squeeze them in in a couple of U.S. <laughs> ports, but the U.S. port infrastructure is not laid out for vessels uh, of this size. So they would, uh, they would basically trade between Asia, uh, the biggest ports in Asia, and the largest ports in Europe. Right. Um, Which are what? which would be uh, Rotterdam, uh, Bremerhaven, Felixstowe, and in, in Asia, it's Shanghai, Ningbo, uh, and, and so on, South China, and, and our own Tanjung Pilipas port. So these are the biggest ports, and, and they can easily trade there, but it's not just you know a matter of water depth and quayside, right. but when someone offloads 18,000 containers right. in a port, <laughs> you have to make sure you can get them out as well. So it's, right. it's uh, hinterland infrastructure as well. Right. So it's quite, uh, quite a job.